So funny story. There was like a glitch in the matrix or something and when I filmed this video I picked up like the wrong questions because I have a bunch of screenshots from different tags. So I say in the beginning of this video this is the like reading habits tag but turns out like as fate would have it this is actually the uh, booktube newbie tag which I guess is kind of appropriate seeing as I never did that before and I feel like I'm new to booktube so fate was on my side but it still made me look like an idiot do i ever change out of this hat and this hoodie you may ask the answer is no because i'm a crusty teenager so this video is coming into existence because well i heard that when booktubers don't know what to film for the next video they do a book tag today I decided I was going to do a video. Today I decided I was going to do a video. That's it, bye. So, yeah, we're doing a book tag today. The book tag I decided to do, I got from somewhere. I don't know, I'll link the video if I can find it. But I think it's called the Reading Habits book tag. It has 11 questions, so I'm sure I will be able to take up sufficient video time i don't know if that even made sense but i'm sure i'll be able to stretch this out for like 10 minutes or something as i do so yeah you've already found out that i don't wash and don't change my clothes or my duvet and now you will get to find out what disgusting reading habits i have and you can all judge me as i judge you the first question is why did you start this channel and the answer to that is it's been so long that i don't remember i guess i started it to talk about books don't we all start these channels for that so yeah, I don't remember, but it was probably to talk about books because that's all I've done here, so. Next question. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? That I'm not like other girls. And I don't wear makeup because I'm lazy and I can't do my hair for shit. And, well, I read books instead of going to parties. I've never attempted a messy bun though, so I'm not quite there. But I'll be there soon and then all my uniqueness will pour out of me. The third question. What are you most excited about for this channel? Wait, I think I'm... Bro, I'm a moron. Answering the wrong tag. I can't believe I was three questions in before I realised that this wasn't about reading habits. I guess seeing as we're here, I'll just finish this one and I'll do the next one in another video. I think this is the newbie book tag. I guess I can go back to the second question and say that the thing I can bring to booktube is my memory of a sieve and my intelligence of a pea. As well as all like my I'm not like other girl things. Anyway, the third question, as I was saying before I realised that I was reading the wrong book tag, what are you most excited about? For this new channel i mean my channel's not new but i never did this tag so we're just gonna do it i don't know what i'm excited for i don't have a specific thing i'm excited for i'm maybe i'm excited for the fact that maybe one day it will be just easier for me to like film videos without like clamming up for three minutes beforehand does that count i'm gonna say it counts four why do you love reading you said i loved reading why do I love reading? Books smell nice. This is where we find out that the thing I can actually bring to booktube is not being able to talk about books properly and not being able to articulate my thoughts or emotions or anything. So I, I don't know why I like reading books, they're fun. I don't have a deep like emotional intelligence to this, they're just fun to read. The deep emotional intelligence doesn't extend to when I'm talking about books. I guess I could say I learn things from books. I feel like I've always learned things from books. I don't know. We'll just say, I learn things from books, that's why I enjoy reading. But I don't like reading, like, actual, like, information books. I only like reading storybooks. You know when you pick up, like, random little tidbits of information from books? Like, when I read a series of unfortunate events, I picked up the story of the boy who cried wolf, and I picked up all these, like, big words that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Like, that kind of thing. That's what I enjoy, like, from books, because it makes me feel smart. Even though it's not, like, it's not actually especially smart because I only pick up like tiny things here and there, but it makes me feel smart. So that's one of the reasons I enjoy reading. 
I wouldn't say I read to like escape from the world because I live on a farm in the middle of nowhere in Wales. I'm already disconnected from the world. I don't need to escape anymore. So yeah, five. What book or series got you into reading? The thing is, like, I started reading when I was 11 years old. But, like, my dad had been reading for me for ages before that. He read me Harry Potter. He read me loads of Dr. Zeus. Just, like, loads. Like, Lord of the Rings. But, like, the first book that I read was The Hobbit. Not to, like, brag, but the first book I read was The Hobbit when I was 11. <laughs> so, mm. I used to listen to loads of audiobooks. I listened to Questomancy by Diana Wynne Jones. I listened to Midnight for Charlie Bone by Jenny Nimmo. Molly Moon by Georgia Bing. Oh, no, and I also listened to How's Moving Castle. Just like loads and loads. So I don't know if those count as like what got me into reading, but I'm going to like say The Hobbit for that, I guess, because that was the first book that I read. What questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? I wouldn't. I have nothing to ask. And also the fact that I don't talk to people, so I wouldn't ask people anyway. I feel like anything that I ask is something like I've already had answered by other people or, you know like people go well how did you make your channel grow or whatever and it's just like well that just happened that's normally what people say how do you get over like being shy on camera and it's like well you just carry on doing it until you're not like shy anymore you know that kind of thing so I feel like there's no question I could really ask anyone that I would get like an answer to that I didn't know already okay we're well, moving on what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome i guess talking to the camera and feeling less weird about it maybe if i get hate comments because i feel like i'll end up getting hate comments because i suck at wording things in a way that like doesn't offend people i feel like i've been told i'm very black and white which is ironic because look at my hat looks like a migraine i've been told i'm very black and white in that sense it comes across as though i'm forbidding people from saying something or liking something which isn't what like i mean to do like you can like what you like i just may dislike it strongly but like you still like what you like you know that's i i don't care if you like something that i completely hate you know i literally could not care less it's just i don't want to know about it so yeah i just suck at like my delivery so i think that will be hardest is like learning how to word things in a way that is understandable to like everyone else because sometimes i say things and it makes sense in my head but none of it makes sense to anyone else the next question is when did you start reading like i said it was 11 i already answered that one so moving on actually i can answer that one and make it longer just to make this video longer i couldn't read until i was 11 years old i'm homeschooled i couldn't read until i was 11 i just didn't want to learn to read and my dad was like okay well we'll just let the kids be illiterate until they feel like they want to read So I didn't learn to read until I was 11 and I kept constantly listening to The Hobbit audiobook and I was like, you know what, I have a copy of The Hobbit sitting on my shelf and I'm gonna read that. So I read to my parents while they were sitting in the bath every night until one day I just wanted to read by myself and so I read by myself. And then I read like 80 books in a year and now I have loads of bookshelves and books and I have a booktube channel and see where that got me. Okay, cool, good, moving on. Where do you read? Usually in bed. Just because, like, it's comfortable. It's uncomfortable reading unless I'm on my back holding the book up. If I'm leaning on my elbows, my shoulders get sore and my elbows get sore and just everything gets sore. The other position that I read in is it's still in my bed. You know the position people who want to get pregnant lie in, like, right after you've had sex where you, like, turn yourself up that upside down and you put your legs against the wall? I read like that sometimes. Maybe you wouldn't expect it to be comfortable, but if you've got, like, a pillow and a wall, then it's comfortable. What kind of books do you like to read? I guess looking at my shelf, the majority of the books that I have kept on my shelf are middle grade fantasy, like Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy, Charlie Bone by Jenny Nimmo, Lockwood & Co by Jonathan Stroud, um, Supernatural, The Secret Series by Pseudonymous Bosch, Harry Potter, and I have a series of unfortunate events. Just, I seem to have a lot of like middle grade -y young adult, like not even young adult, kids books i like magic but i kind of read anything i guess but like the majority of what i read seems to be uh, middle gravy kids books what does my book collection look like papery inky book shaped does this mean i have to like insert a video because it looks like books like what like what did you expect like it looks booky it looks like books i insert a video 
Max. I don't know how to answer this question. I like doing tags. I like answering questions. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, I did the I did the questions. I know I started this off by saying it was one tag and then realizing that I was reading the questions for another one. And I know I'm not gonna bother refilming that intro because comedy. Say hello to my rabbit. And now say goodbye to it. Bye. I'm reading.